Hey, go. Oh. <laughs> Who is starting this? Hi, guys. We're back with episode three of Learning Shonen Podcast. I'm Eddie Fast Ed. I'm Kai, so we go by Sheik now. <laughs> and this is our man, Andrew Kesty Point. Hi. <laughs> so, Wee. who wants to start us off today? Uh, I guess I start. Okay. Apparently, I found an article where the, they're giving Nightwing a new Joker, and then they changed his name to Richard uh, Rick, Rick Grayson. Rick. Rick. He's apparently a Rick, Rick. now. Rick. I'm, oh, okay. I'm Gordon Reed. Is Rick supposed to be short for something? It's supposed to be short for Richard. Richard yeah. no, they're going with that. They originally like had they really they had his name as Dick. Yeah. But then mm-hmm. a whole bunch of situations happened where he actually um I think uh, yeah because I know Dick used to it can be used to, it's like short for Richard <laughs> or can oh, be used okay to Richard I get I, since, since it's been a long time here's this <laughs> bit of spoilers for some comics <laughs> apparent apparently. Dick gets shot by a um, KG Beast, which is like an enemy of his, okay. of him and Batman. And he's supposed uh, to be like a communist. So okay, that makes he sense. Gets shot, he gets shot in the head. Yeah, KGB makes more sense when you put the communist in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and Batman was fucking weird at the time when he had yeah. that guy. Because apparently, because around that time, it was just him around. And then one comic, Batman just leaves this man to start. Like, Batman's so pissed with this guy, he just leaves him the star. I won't kill you. I'll just leave you the star. Good luck trying to eat rats! But he, and apparently he makes it out, but this is like, after like all the DC Rebirth, the Rick Khan, <laughs> and all this other BS comic book like to do. Mumble Jones. So apparently, Nightwing gets shot directly in the head. Mm. Okay. So you assume, he, you assume he dies from that. But mm. nope. But... But after a while, Batman tracks the man down and beats him to, a, like, a pulp. And he's like, oh, you know what? I'm not going to help you out, so you're fucked. But they show, like, a Nightwing comic later, because a lot of people are just grieving over it. They're like, oh, my God, Nightwing's dead. It yeah. apparently screws up the Titans for some reason, because that was the leaders. So they're like, oh, Nightwing's dead, so what the fuck am I supposed to do? <laughs> so apparently, he's not dead, but he has, like, amnesia. Yeah. So he changes his name to Rick Grayson, and he gets, like, this weird-looking haircut. He gets, like, the full-on shave, like, the white guy Sean shave from, like, The Walking Dead. Sean. Sure. <laughs> wow. And sad. I'm like, and I, look, and I look at this, like, what did y'all do to him? Because the first person who goes to meet him is, like, Batgirl, which is, like, yeah. Barbara Gordon, because of yeah. two's, like, date. Yeah. She's like, um... You're Nightwing, and your name is Dick Grayson. He's like, no, this is my life for now. I'm, I'm, I'm Rick Grayson now. <laughs> so the internet is like, what the fuck is this? But there was one meme I saw where it was like, mm-hmm. upgrade. Oh, yeah. It was like, upgrade, upgrade, and it shows him getting shot in the back of the head. Yeah. And then it was like, and then it, and then it was like, upgrade again. Okay. To where it's just like, this is my life now, and it was like, never go back. <laughs> oh, <my laughs> I'm like, Jesus. I'm like, I don't get this, but it can somewhat work because the way he looks now, he looks like super like weird. He looks like he looks like he just came from like the Injustice universe because of his armor. Oh, really? Like literally when you Hold look on. at literally when you look at the armor, it just literally looks weird. Mm-hmm. But then they're trying to give him like a, a Joker esque kind of villain. Mm-hmm. And his name is assumed like, and like I won't spoil it enough because people are trying to try, trying to read the comments, but apparently yeah. he's just getting a Joker somehow. Right. So he may just get something out of that somehow. Mm-hmm. And that's about it for me for now. Okay. I got other stuff, but I'm gonna keep that in for later. Okay. Mm-hmm. Um, one thing I was thinking about today was. Uh, I remember a vine where a guy was getting out of the friend zone uh, jail, and then he makes it out, and two girls as cop uniforms pull out with guns. It's like, back in the zone, buddy. And I'm honestly imagining, <laughs> like, what if it's a movie where it's, like, literally the prisoners escape? It's like, if you see this person, boy or girl or whatever, that escape and they don't have a date, they arrest them immediately to the friend zone. Like it's that. funny how it's funny how you it's funny how you say there's two chicks coming after one dude. I yeah. really think of an anime called Prison School. Where, 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 I can see how. I can see how though. 
<laughs> the premise of that anime was literally just like the dominatrix level of shit they could pull off. Oh, okay. Because it was like, because when you look at the chicks who are like patrolling like the prison, the like busty A plus model looking anime girls, and right. it's like when you see that shit in real life, you want to freak the fuck out, <laughs> and you're just like, what the hell? <laughs> I just, uh, I don't want to even leave jail. I would fuck. I need to. No, I think there is a situation in there, spoilers for whoever hasn't watched it, but how haven't you not watched this? What's wrong with you? <laughs> there's a there's a little instance in the, like, the anime where one chick is literally in there, and I think she's like either getting undressed or in the bathroom. The dude somehow like just shows up at, at the, the wrong, wrong place time. in the wrong time. She's like, you're not going to tell anyone you saw this, but you're going to do it every freaking thing. <laughs> I could never watch that anime without having to, like, pause it and just look at it like, what, what is wrong with me? Mm-hmm. And I have to be like, why am I watching this? Why? Because it did. <laughs> why indeed. Why indeed, man. Uh, also, one thing I've been thinking about is, like, how, like, what article did you get that Hello Kitty wasn't really a cat? That's the thing. It's, that... It was, like, a one article that just showed that, and it was around, um. 20, I think 2013 or 2014. Was it the actual yeah. creator that said it? No, I think it was like an article. Right. And it, was, it was like, Hello Kitty is not a cat. And it apparently was like, she's some kind of like bear, rabbit, cat thing. And I'm like, is this just fucking chowder? Yeah, it's just that we don't know who. Like, because the... apparently it was the big crave around all that time because we all knew Hello Kitty was a cat, and mm-hmm. then I, and then I kind of really recently found out that Hello Kitty was actually an anime, which <laughs> really no probably no one out there knows. Surprisingly, <laughs> like I don't like if you're from Japan, and it's, it's like from, you... it's from the pa- it's from Japan, and it looks yeah. and it looks like and it looks anime, it's right? Really like how they yeah. think Hello Kitty anime, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. But it's like you, you never really it's like you rather really tell people this this like stick, and then like because we all have that, we all have that like a certain exotic thing where we just say oh you're weep trash. Yeah. But you literally have a hello. But there's somebody around you has like a nerd. Like we'll literally call you a nerd, but they around you have a hello kitty like case or something. Boom! <laughs> it's like <laughs> you you poor unfortunate yeah, you, soul. You want to call? You poor unfortunate soul. It's sad but true. But Hello Kitty is an anime. Right. I just have to tell you that. You want some outlandy stuff right now. Last thing I want to add for today is I just thought of a skit where it's uh, Garfield just getting mad at John. And it, it just goes like this. It's like, John, I had it with your shit, man. You're not beating me. <laughs> Where's you, my lasagna, John? Yeah, like, Why does that remind me of the, the Rick and Morty thing where... Um, <laughs> that's they, actually they, what they made did the par- the Yes. Bit, they did the parody where it yes, was, that's where it was how Garfield, it. but he was called Gazorzorfield. That's Gazorzor- actually Gazorzor- how was, I got the idea. Because he was supposed to be the, um, the, little, the really angry aliens uh, that showed up that that Morty had a son. Right, yeah. And it was the aliens that apparently wanted to like, destroy all... He like destroy everything. Right. Uh, like, they're supposed to be that male stereotype of we're masculine and competitive about yeah. everything when it comes to yeah. everything. Right. Oh, yeah. and, that was the, and that was the episode where I just started laughing. Was it a deleted scene? Oh, no. It was an actual thing. Okay. So, that's actually how I it was, thought of it was that. On, like, those, it was on, like, the episodes where they do, like, an interdimensional cable, like, improv yeah. thing. Okay. Because when you look at the, when you look at the, little, the show they put up, you can tell the whole thing is just improv and, like, unedited. Right. Because literally there was one where we were doing one where it's like a movie trailer. And it was supposed to be like, um, it was supposed to be like Bad Boys in a way. Because you, when you look at it, you immediately think Bad Boys, but it's called Two Brothers. Right. Yeah. And, but they were putting so much ex, like, exhibition into it. And it's like, what? And they were putting like so much detail into like what they were doing as Two Brothers. And it was a sh- the movie was only called Two Brothers. Step Brothers. <laughs> Oh, man. <laughs> that movie. It's funny how you mentioned that movie. Mm-hmm. I saw it a few days ago, and um, uh, last week we were doing uh, a thing where we would do, like, Heinz, and I just imagined, like, I wonder if a Heinz commercial was made like that. Would anyone want to buy more Heinz? <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of like when you put the situation of if, yeah. if somebody would, like, if you just advertise McDonald's in a different way, because apparently right. Gormis is a freaking chicken nugget. But that's, that's <laughs> I look that's like a burnt chicken nugget. <laughs> but he's purple. 
He pur- I, I've never seen a chicken nugget be purple. That's the thing I'm confused about. He's supposed to be a chicken nugget. But this chicken man nugget. is purple. <laughs> I've never... T- it's like the thing with Bowser. It's like, you want to do it? Buy... Here's the thing about it. It's a man. <laughs> Think about it. And it's a turtle. <laughs> it's it's a dude though because, because he just puts on the crown and turns into a chick. Uh, I remember how crazy model female. Like, I remember how crazy they were. Going I, with I that. pretty much think about yeah. it like how this is like. Don't get me wrong. Don't you get me look wrong. hot, good, though. But you, you a dude. dude, and you a turtle. How <laughs> how that postal work? <laughs> If we both have swords, one of us got to go. No, it, 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 if we both have something down there, it's, 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 it's one of us has to change. One right of us got to change. Yeah. <laughs> Cut it. <laughs> Cut it. Because <laughs> for some reason, that's the one thing that just keeps popping up is that exact thing. Because apparently it just died off now. Because then we yeah. had that. We had Earth Chan. We were oh, apparently it was man. Earth as a female. Yeah. And I'm like... That's a little definition of fuck the planet. <laughs> <laughs> then we had Black Hole Chan for some reason. Oh, I'm, no, just like, no. I, I'm just like, how? Oh, the internet no. is freaking weird today. Wait, what? what? The internet is weird because then we had Black Hole That's Chan. We had Earth Chan. <laughs> what else did we have? We uh, had um, a lot more. A lot more. Apparently, somebody was got the best idea ever and made Area 51 Chan. And I'm like, this could work. <laughs> I'll take this meme over the people trying to read Area 51. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll give you that one. Yeah, I'll take that one. Uh, and to, that is, I, it's funny you said that because that's literally how, and I'm just like, am I going to use this for the show? Yes, I am. And <laughs> it, it continues with, it's like, you're more, you're unuseful than the dog and the other cat. Do you see Heathcliff getting this many reboots? I don't think so. I and Hello Kitty are running shit. You need to up your game, John. I'm tired of it. And that would be like, 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 I don't care. I'm Resort Resort motherfucking feel to go get me my freaking enchiladas. Because <laughs> it's like he doesn't like lasagnas. He likes enchiladas. <laughs> Rebooted Garfield. Rebooted like Garfield would make yeah. Resort Resort freaking feel. Imagine that being the thing. That oh my god! Back. If, it, if it if it became a Give female, me my freaking oh my enchiladas. God. Imagine that's the thing that makes the internet, that breaks the internet. There's I want the Garfield not like it was like, oh, I want it to be a thing, and want, I want to see how many people lose their absolute Like, form. you know that's going to be breaking the straw on the camel's back for at least one person. If that ever happens. It's like, it's a, the whole thing is just, we don't, we don't know what Trump is. We forget about Trump. Yeah. But all the, but all our shit is directed towards Garfield Ooh, not like liking lasagna. lasagna. Oh, that would be Like, amazing. all our politics go straight out the window, and it's just that. I have a feeling yeah, once yeah. this episode is posted, someone's doing that immediately right now. Someone <laughs> is going to make, it's like, I'm going to look, I'm going to do it. It's, it's kind of it's kind of like the situation where we have where if we should like we kind of just start muting stuff. We should right. just start doing that and just start muting certain stuff and just dubbing over it, even though all very everyone else is doing that. It's like it's like yeah yes, yeah, Snap Cube, we're stealing your idea. <laughs> so we're not actually stealing idea. Please don't sue us. Please, please. please. We are literally small. We can't we we give us copyright claims. Please. No. I just had a fourth channel. Please don't, don't do this to me for about a year. I now. haven't done d- d- literally anything on my channel besides maybe, um, besides maybe like one gameplay thing, a live stream, and then just a podcast. Right. And I'm like, please don't sue me. <laughs> like, the last thing I posted was last night. I was te- It was uh, the test footage from the capture card. I, you just posted I that? Yay. Yeah, because I. T- I tested it out with uh, Mario Tennis Aces. Oh. I thought that would be a simple game to test it with. Hey, Andrew. That's like te- that's like testing Mario Party for the first time. <laughs> you're, you're, you just walked in the hell and back. I just thought Aces would be the simple thing. Like a- and Aces is just more, it's like that one game I could probably enjoy. Like, it's an easy game. Because that, it's Tenny. It's a, I had it on the, like, the most easy settings. That way I could focus on like the feedback, making sure it was going through to the laptop and stuff like that. Make it. Jesus. Yeah. I just dirty it on and go dirty and pop. <laughs> so unprofessional. Very unprofessional. When have um, we ever been a professional? <laughs> touche, touche. I literally just came into this shirt. 
Like literally, literally, our whole setup is just a camera. That's it. We yeah. didn't even have a mic. Right. Sure. This is this is what I we got, just, folks. I think we just proven that we're allowed, We're just now enough being that we don't leave a mic. We're we're that we're that underground and independent right now. But we're we're the loudest human beings in a, probably in our entire complex. Right. Right. Mm-hmm. Like anytime we make a noise, people just look at us like, "Could you not be loud, <laughs> please?" It's like I can't help it. Andrew, do you got some stories from New York? I swear to God. There's only been two of us. We've had a lot of stories to share. You got some stories from New York you can share? I mean, other than the gun law I was talking to about. Well, I know. It's like, I, think, I think one time we were watching a Mets game, and that thing went on for like 14 that innings. That was last night. Yeah. We watched the Mets game. They lost. Games, like, and then the Mets just lost after uh, 14 overtimes. Uh, Wait, didn't Futurama make the joke of that, or was it something else? Yeah, and I it literally was, gave the TV to wow. Mets. Wow. Like, <laughs> puts off the TV because Futurama <laughs> makes a Mets joke. And it was a prediction. I'm like, fuck y'all. I hate it. It's not even a prediction. I feel like that's just like... No, that's just a general stereotype. That's the general stereotype of New York teams suck. Uh, That's a general stereotype of the Mets, at least. I thought it would be all New York teams, because apparently people just make that stereotype for like certain TV shows, because apparently... No, if that stereotype's going to fit anywhere, it's going to be the Mets, the Knicks, and the Jets. Because I I know... um, It rhymes, Mets, Jets. (laughs) I know Family Guy made that joke one time. Right. Where, they, where Peter was like, Jet suck, the Yankee sucks, Mets sucks. <laughs> and he's about to get his ass kicked, but his wife would just beat the crap out of every New Yorker there. I mean, it's wow. not often when the Yankees suck. It's never it's often. Far in it's usually between. people thinking that they're cheating somehow. I don't know why. Right. Wait, 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 the Cubs are from the Boston, right? Cubs? Yeah. No, they're from Chicago. Okay. No, they're Chicago Cubs. Uh-huh. Chicago. Huh, that was Chicago. still an amazing moment. It's just like, <laughs> they finally won again! They won a game. It's come over a hundred years. And it's kind of like when I found that the Orioles went to the World Series and yet still lost. <laughs> you said the Orioles? Yeah. The, um, There's a, base, a baseball team called the Orioles. No, yes, Baltimore Orioles. Yep. Okay. Do they eat the Orioles as well? <laughs> no. <laughs> they should. They're supposed to be the bird, like the, the okay. Maryland bird. Yeah. Like the orange and black bird. The bird that eats the... Okay, no. It doesn't no. eat Oreos. <laughs> you can't feed birds human food. I feel like you can, because I've... You can. Look, yeah, like, the, what do you... Because birds eat bread. That's right. like human food. Like, mm. back home... Bread, eat that money. Like, back home sometimes at this beach, it was at least one time this happened. There was, like, a whole lot of bagels on the, in, like, a parking lot, and bagels. I guess they were just left there for, like, the bird... For, like, seagulls and stuff. And I'm like, huh... That's a lot of bagels just for birds. Speaking of which, uh, um, of blue and orange, like, th- remember the dude, uh, that was on you, to Ginger's Have Soul guy? Remember that guy? Oh my god. <laughs> there, I was, there was a, not only, like, he has, like, more YouTube stuff, but there was another YouTube channel I found, and it was like, wow, this man's been kind of busy, because he's, he had, like, a television show at one point. And then, like, he made a video, music video and all that. I'm just like, man, this... Wow. Just like, can you come here for a second? Ginger's half souls! <laughs> Viral! Viral! That, 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 that's the point! Oh, my God. That's literally what happened to the whole... Oh, yeah, also, speaking of old YouTube things, do you guys remember the angry German kid? Like, oh, yeah. The thing was, he was acting. That that wasn't really his own activity. He was literally acting. I kind of acting. figured that because... Yeah. Did you see it? Have you ever seen an angry German uh, besides, besides Hitler? <laughs> I know you. Have you ever seen something that doesn't consist on the Hitler rant? Right, right, right. Mm, maybe. Yeah. That's a perfect example of how angry a German can be. It's just I Hitler mean, ranting about something. Also, I mean, on maybe, our way here, we were watching Grandpa. Oh yeah, oh yeah. That 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 moment where we feel that old. Like all of us are like in our twenties right now. I just I just turned twenty. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't help. I just turned twenty four. It's like I just 22. turned twenty. This guy's twenty two. He's twenty four. Literally, he literally again with the, just a death part. Yeah. I'll just mix it in. Yeah, he literally just turned twenty four on first day. Yeah, two days I've ago. Been I've, I feel old. I've been twenty two for about five to four months now. Don't, don't worry, you're going to be 23 in approximately a, a, a year from now. Yeah. Next year, actually. Mm-hmm. In 2020. 
<laughs> you, and then you'll be what old enough to get about? alcohol. What yes, you will. What you talking about? My mom is freaking 40. I feel old right. compared to you. <laughs> that would mean nothing. I know. That would mean nothing in my book. My mom's 40. It still looks like Jennifer Aniston. And that is still... She literally <laughs> looks like black Jennifer Aniston. And she knows him, right? She literally yeah. knows that. That is crazy. That is just crazy. Like, your mom was 20 and now you're 20. Yeah, now? Li- we're literally 20 whole years apart. Right. Oh, my. <laughs> so the time she- I hit 30, she's going to be 50. Right. And still looking still Look look good. Still looking, still looking good. good. And which is surprising. And I'm like... <laughs> Uh, like that's the that's the wonder of exercise and whatever food she's eating. Mom, have I ever tell you that you look like a plus? <laughs> have I tell? <laughs> <laughs> my mind just went my, to the my end. Mom, my mom reminds me of like the actress who could be like plump, like but Hall- still look good, like yeah. Holly Bell. Uh, she's not plump. She's she? not plump. Okay. I was thinking Sorry. more. I was thinking more of what like, the one chick from Pitch Perfect. Okay. Like the, like the fat chick. Oh my, yeah. Yeah. I kind of feel bad of saying plus. I can't remember her name, but she pretty much proves that fat can be sexy. Yeah, Yeah. I kind of feel bad of saying plus because, like, now, like, I'm on, I'm on Kiss Anime every now and then, and they now have like the one with the anime with the mom and. You mean the yes? Oh my god! Yes, they they have it now. I don't know if they have it in English, but I'm like, don't do it, don't do it. I don't think they would do it in English. You want you really want to hear that shit in English? I don't want to know what it's like in Japanese. I've had to hear um fucking love nectar in English, and I'm like, oh god, by Monica (laughs) Rao. It's uh, speaking of Monica Rao. There's just. There's been a lot of stuff going on with that, and I'm like... Oh. There's been a lot of talking whispers, but I still love her. I don't know why, though. Her voice. And the it's, fact it's that just, she has the same name as my mom, or just... Yeah. The, There's just been a lot of stuff going on with her, and it's like, I'm not going to really get into it, because that's an my drama. I don't need to get into some drama. Right? No worry. <laughs> don't you worry about that. <laughs> okay. Did you? I was just saving. Yeah. yeah that's all, I can, all I can say is... We like, I don't need to get into that drama because it's drama. Right. I I, I I don't I don't think that's what we're gonna do for the channel. Let's talk about drama. Like be no. keen star, right? No, we're not doing that. <laughs> eight, out, eight out of ten times, if I'm mentioning something, then it pretty much turns into that moment where we just mention that one thing and it's there. I mean, and it's and that is it. About ignoring drama, yet you had an article about Spider Man. That's oh, the, <laughs> no. I don't know. I just looked, I kind of just looked at it. Because like, the whole drama with Sony and Disney. And that's oh, like, yeah. That's Tom the thing Holland. I just looked at and just looked at it with, like, the face of, okay. Tom Holland's actually cool with it. He's just like, Tom Holland got a car, though. I got cars because of your drama. Tom Holland has to be cool with it. It's in his contract. Yeah, he, him and, um, him and like, uh, Feige can't say, he haven't said anything about it. So it's just, they just have to be cool with it. My mouth been a little dry, guys. <laughs> I was li- licking my lips and I'm like, are you becoming LL Cool J? No, my lips were dry. I just- it is so funny because he really <laughs> does that for real. Like, LL Cool J does lick his lips. Oh, for really? real. He I just really realized does. that I've gotten fully addicted to Jeremy Renner. <laughs> this guy, right? No, the guy who plays Hawkeye. Mm. <laughs> I've literally gotten addicted to Jeremy Renner. Jump. Germany or Jeremy? Jeremy. Jeremy. Yeah, the, Jeremy. Guy, the guy who literally plays Hawkeye. It's like, I'm pretty much known as I've gotten addicted to that one dude. Uh-huh. Because <laughs> one, I already, I already like Hawkeye because a lot of people say he's useless. It's like, we have Green Arrow, but yet he's not useless? Come on with that. <laughs> Guys, gotta the get out The man who has a boxing glove arrow does not consider useless. Right. Mm-hmm. But yet, I consider Hawkeye the most useless Avenger ever. It's like... This, Oh, shut up. Like, I can't really have an opinion on that. I've pretty much been that guy who's like, if you if you can say Hawkeye is useless, then I can say Green Arrow and Green Lantern are probably the most useless characters ever. Because right. yeah, one, I don't like Hal Jordan. <laughs> and it's not because of the movie. It's not because of the movie. It's literally because of the amount of stuff he does in the comics. Because mm-hmm. apparently he loses his city in the comics, but yet he loses his absolute shitter. Yeah. He lost kills his mind. all of the Green Lanterns. Yeah, goes full on rampage. Kills all the Green Lanterns. Fuses with something called Parallax. Right. Mm. But apparently they retcon that out of existence to be like, oh, I was. That crazy. never happened. No, it's not that it's never happened. 
It's pretty much the premise of, oh, I was being possessed. Okay, and, and sure! I'm like, I'm like, that's not gonna, that's not gonna kill the Fly. fact that you literally lost, all, like, you literally went off your record. Yeah. You're and rocking. I look at people who say Hal Jordan's the best, I'm like, no, he's not. No. It's like, I, I don't think he's the best, I just don't like him. And it's because, it's because of that one situation. Because no, I'm never gonna forget that situation. It's the situation that's gonna be there forever, forever. no matter how many times the they write on it. Forever, <laughs> forever. Oh, apparently, we get a She-Hulk uh, show. Mm-hmm. She has a show. She, she's getting a show. I mean, I like, think around like next year. Because, like, I heard, um, what was the, um, uh, what was uh Joker's uh. Apprentice, what what was her name again? Holly Quinn. Oh, yeah, she has a show now. Apparently, yeah. she has a show now, and I'm like, I can watch this. This is reminding me of Deadpool. <laughs> right, that's what it looked like. Holly Quinn is just literally, it's just literally DC's answer to Deadpool. Yes. Wait, what is Deadpool from Marvel? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Apparently, that was supposed to be Marvel's answer to Deathstroke. Right, Deathstroke. Because you can literally see it in the name. I'm Deathstroke and I'm Deadpool. <laughs> Let's go. Honestly, now I can see those as sex names, and, and I'm sorry. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm dead, sorry. I can't, I, I can't. I don't know why I can't see Deadpool as a sex name. <laughs> we're already gonna get demonetized. Remember, this is on age age restricted. So it's like no, it's like you gotta be 18 or older to see it. <laughs> I'm just like we expected some money out of this demonetization because of half <laughs> the stuff we've been talking about. Right. We got. I'm um, just like the first one, like. Like nothing happened to the first one, so we're we're a okay. Yeah. yeah. Second one's not there, but we're 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 getting to it. We're working on it. Yeah. W I P. Oh God. Why does he have yellow eyes? Yellow. Oh, is it? <laughs> Sorry. Are, are you really questioning why um? Uh, yes. Moby has d- yellow eyes. Yes. <laughs> maybe, maybe he got Nordic. Who knows? Maybe. <laughs> maybe he got Nordic before Nordic was a thing. Maybe. What Nordic? Nordic. Definition, Nordic. please. Nordic. <laughs> Nordic. Just stop screaming right here. It's like Nordic. <laughs> yeah, what is, what is, the, for those who don't know Nordic is, especially me, what, what is Nordic? Okay, since we're pretty much the Kingdom Hearts aspect. You are more than me because you've probably been in fan longer. Okay. I've been in it longer and I'm pretty much the guy who's addicted to timelines and fan theories. <laughs> Because knowing, knowing me, I questioned the end game timeline for about at least two months. Speaking of, I'm sorry. Speaking of Kingdom Hearts, it's just interesting to know, like in the uh, Japanese version, they had more games, and it's just like, oh my god, y'all have been leaving us out. Why do you leave us out? They actually have more in the games, actually. Right, and, and, but they had to put that in a remaster, so it took us like a whole maybe, uh, like give it like. 12, 13 years yeah, of like remastered like, stuff. Like that. That. Yeah, like Final Fantasy, especially from uh, shout out to my man James Rofile, AVGN. There have been more Final Fantasies, and it's just like, we're just gonna skip the, the America's like, we'll skip the timeline, <laughs> just make it make sense. And boom! Stop we go to a different universe. In yes! General. Right! It is just like, so like, I've my been. Guy, it's not Final Fantasy if everything's not final. That's why it's like, uh, so I've been playing. Six this whole time when it was named three. What the heck? <laughs> That's literally how it was. It's like I've been playing a whole new different game and it's different than I know. It's like the shock when you go to Japan. It's like actually you've been playing three six this whole time. That's not three. So, wait, what? Wait, what? What? <laughs> what? Here's what? I, here's what I know. Ah. Here's what I know about some games in Japan. Right. The main setting of the game is just based in Shibuya. Shibuya. Like some games are just literally Shibuya and Shibuya. that's it. Shibuya. And I'm like, I want to take. Then like Kingdom Hearts is taking it around. I'm like, here we go. Here we go. <laughs> it's unfortunate. It's gonna, it's gonna go that route for like half of the game, and then it's just gonna do another thing. Back to the Ooh. um, back to the definition. What is I forgot what the word was now. Nordic. 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 What does Nordic mean? Apparently, in Kingdom Hearts, is this guy called Xehanort, hmm. and he's supposed to be super freaking evil, but misunderstood evil. So I'm gonna say. Yeah, I don't. I don't want to say like neutrally evil. I guess. Okay. Either that or lawfully evil, to where he has good intentions. It's just. His... Yeah, maybe it's more lawfully. Evil. Yeah, it's more like lawfully evil. All right. So his premise is to like channel light and darkness, 
But he's like, oh, I can't do this by myself. I'm going to need more of me. So he <laughs> just ta- he just takes people and puts his, like, soul into them. Mm-hmm. And apparently the fans have made up this thing where it's called Nordy. Okay. Like, it's called Nording because it's like they have yellow eyes. Right. Like, they'll have either yellow eyes or gray <laughs> hair or just both at the same time. Because some, cause some of them actually have both. Yeah. Yeah. And it's just like, oh, they act like Xehanort. <laughs> but they don't talk like Xehanort. Yeah. <laughs> because they literally have his soul, and it's just friggin'. It. I don't know why the hearts in like Kingdom Hearts does like the like the Undertale thing and makes it like hearts are the yeah. soul. Yeah. Bum, bum, and it bum, makes bum, no bum, sense bum. in the concept of what is going on in this game. And I have yet to make this game make sense, and I'm like, eh, I'm never gonna make this game make sense. Uh, Let's just play it while it lasts. Probably a lot of people won't be able to make sense of it. Obviously. I would at least say for the new game, they did a good job. They is like that was worth the rate, right? It was worth it. Yeah. And then I found out that apparently the same guy who plays Japanese. who plays like a Japanese like character in a certain Japanese. anime plays a Japanese version of Kratos, right? And I'm like, uh, okay. Epic. Speaking of which, I remembered like there was a person dressed up as uh, one of the the key holders from Persona Five. Mm-hmm. And she at at a con met the person who actually played her. I'm like, now that's actually yeah, epic Kagumi yeah. stuff right there. That's epic. That is epic. I think you're talking about the um, wardens. Yeah, Maybe. yeah. It was like just like bit from wardens. I'm just imagining that so much. You dress up as a character, and the character shows up. It's like, want to take a picture? Want to take a picture? <sighs> I already know if I get my own house, I'm gonna paint a room blue, and it's just gonna be like, well, to the rubble. Right. Velvet's blue? Yeah. I thought that was red. Velvet is, like, to them, Velvet is freaking blue. <laughs> I'll give it's you like, the blue. Like, welcome to my home room. It's blue. <laughs> the blue light special. Because every time you go in there, it's just like, it's like, it shows like a transition loading screen where everything is blue. And I'm like, this is not Velvet. <laughs> I just thought Janet Jackson. This man is literally trying you to know I'm going to keep checking right here. Right You're going to keep yeah. checking for that Star Wars stuff. Yeah. Star Wars. Mm. Do, 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 do. <laughs> this is a bit. Oh, sorry. Anything right. else for today? <laughs> I, I don't know. I've pretty much covered everything I wanted to get through. So have I. All right. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you next time. My again, my name is Eddie slash Fast Ed. My name is Kai slash Sheik. <laughs> <laughs> pay, don't be in my hand 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 hand. Hand. I know. <laughs> and we're gone. Bye bye. Alright. Now I'm gonna send you. <laughs>